Hello guys, this is Julia, and today I'm back with another video, which I'm going to show you guys something that is pretty much helpful to mostly anyone, which I'm recording now. I have to use OBS Classic because OBS Studio hates my computer, so pretty much we're going to be making a video today on something most people need to know, which is how to free up storage. You guys can see I've already filled up this 53 gigabyte partition. Basically it's 54 gigs, but I have 1.25 gigabytes free. So I thought I'd make a perfect video on how to free up storage on your computer because people with devices that don't contain a lot of storage or maybe they just have a lot of stuff and it gets filled up really easily. There are some things you can do to free up space without deleting like your actual files that you need. So in case you guys are wondering, I'm doing a challenge right now, which is why I'm on this old version of Windows 10 right here because it was an ISO challenge and I happen to get the oldest version of Windows 10 in it. So it's installed on this partition. This other one is RS6 Insider. Because if I go into a folder in Windows and I do like properties on like, let's say explorer.exe, it will show the actual version of Windows right there, which is in an Insider build, which is after RS5 actually, because they, I have to skip ahead on there. So that one is way newer, which in two days I'll get to use again. So some of the stuff I might show you might vary, but it's pretty much in the same place in every version of Windows 10, everything I'm going to show you. Some of it isn't even like in the OS, it's other programs or it's in every version. So. Um, no matter what version of Windows 10 you have, this will work. No matter if it's the oldest or the latest, everything I'm going to show you will work in Windows 10. In fact, I'm going to say this, even though the title says Windows 10, some of this will work in 7 and 8 and 8.1, but not everything. So some of it will work, some of it won't work. So pretty much we're going to start off with, first of all, running basic utilities like disk cleanup which will make sure it'll empty the recycle bin, which you should always empty your recycle bin because any files you delete aren't actually deleted until you empty the recycle bin. So I'm just going to check everything um, right here. So it's going to free up 661 megabytes of space. I'm going to run that once, so that's going to free up that much storage for me. And then I'm going to run it again, but this time I'm going to click clean up system files. So if I open it again and click OK, I'm going to click this. It says clean up system files, which it will clean up all of the system files on the system. That way any like files you that it no longer needs, it will delete. Now this won't delete your personal files because I've gotten asked that question before, believe it or not, because people don't know, at least some don't know, um, but we're going to check all of this. So even temporary Windows installation files are kept. So basically it just means like there's a Windows BT folder and any files that were downloaded, like you see setup prep and it looks like it's a version, a newer version of Windows. Dot one ninety. That's interesting. I thought it was. Um, I didn't know they were on that. I thought they were on. I actually I thought it was one nine two, unless it was something else. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. But it tried to download the latest version of Windows ten, but but then I kind of stopped it from doing that. But keep in mind, you guys should always keep your stuff up to date. And it does have a previous Windows installation, but I'm gonna uncheck that for now because we're gonna delete that in settings. So I'm going to click delete. And I will show you how to do that in settings. There is no previous installation, but for whatever odd reason, there there is a Windows.old. I, I don't know why. There's nothing even in there. But Windows and Windows.old, what's the difference? Well, Windows is like your normal Windows, but Windows.old is like if you do an upgrade from a Windows version, um, it makes a Windows.old of your old one so you can roll back and you have a time to roll back after updating, but it only gives you 10 days now to roll back. Um, but to be honest, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're actually having a serious issue because updates are for security and you want to stay as up to date as possible. So it's best not to roll back and to try to fix the problem without doing that. So we deleted that. Okay. So now we're going to go into settings here. It's, it's pretty much the same on all of them system. Um, you're going to go to storage and then you can click your C drive. This will even tell you 
what's taking up your space. So um, we have 19 gigs of system stuff, which this stuff you can't delete, but if you really absolutely have to and don't have a lot of storage, you could always disable hibernation. You'll gain that much space back. Um, I wouldn't recommend disabling paging file because someone actually told me it can cause a problem if you do that. So I wouldn't recommend that. And it, it's, I have a lot of videos, as you can see. I only have four gigs of apps and games there, which I don't even play games. I don't know why it says that. Temporary files is where you could free up the most space. So there's three gigs of temporary files. I could just click that and say, oh yeah, I'm sure I want to delete those temporary files. It's going to go ahead and delete those for me, saying, we're, we're cleaning up your temporary files. Come back in a bit to check out the results. Yeah, definitely. I have a lot of downloads, which I'll show you, like, you where those are and how to clean out old ones you could just click view downloads and it will show you them but previous versions of windows as i said is is to go back to a previous version which this, it says deleted it says it'll be automatically deleted a month after you upgrade but to free up space you can delete them now we're going to click delete it delete previous versions if you delete these files you won't be able to go back to your previous version of windows yeah delete i don't i don't care about the previous version i don't even have one i don't even know why it has that option that's weird um but pretty much it says a month but it only gives you 10 days to go back but the files still sit on your system but then um, um but after our 30 days they delete so i i don't understand why it says a month because it should be 10 days um i think because back in the older versions it did give you a month but now they only give you 10 days i think that's why so now i have zero bytes but yet i could still delete it oh that's interesting so I think it's still deleting those. So we're gonna close that. Um, if And just to let you know, this doesn't free up space, but if you wanna speed up performance, you could run optimize and defragment here. So if you optimize your drive, it, it will speed your computer up. Now it, it goes quicker for me because I have an SSD. So I can just optimize both of my drives there. Now doing this just speeds it up. It's quicker on SSDs because SSDs cannot be defragged. It does something called trim, which is for SSDs and it's safe, but that's why they changed it to optimize because it does something completely different if you have a solid state. So this is safe to use when you have a solid state because it recognizes that it is and it does the appropriate thing. Back in the old days, it wouldn't recognize that, and they said, do not defragment an SSD. This doesn't actually defragment it, though. Um, it does something different, as I said, but if it was a hard drive, it would defrag it. So, it's always good to do this. Um, I'm going to change this to daily, because being defragged daily is good. Now, besides that, there are programs you can run, like CCleaner that will clean out a lot of junk files it's a it's a pretty good third-party program to clean out junk i'm just going to open it click run cleaner it says it will be deleted but i'm just going to click don't shut it again and click continue now i had someone run this one time because someone needed help with their computer and i noticed it was outdated because they showed me a screenshot and i was i was like that windows 10 version looks outdated can you show me winver they showed me winver and i almost freaked out actually did freak out i was like oh my because it was so old and i was like okay um, time to update, but they didn't have enough storage, which is the reason why it was on that old version in the first place. So, in order to free up space, we had to run CCleaner. It cleaned out like 7 gigs of storage, literally just by running CCleaner, and they were able to update. So that was amazing. It worked. And I walked them through freeing up space. So this should help you guys if you're having an issue updating Windows, and it says, you need more space to update. We'll do all these steps, and you should have enough space to update, because updates are very important. So you can see I cl cleaned up about five and a half gigabytes just running CCleaner, which is amazing because it was all stuff I didn't need. So I'll run it again because I always run it twice. It also fixes registry issues. So we're going to do that right now. As you can see, it's doing this. It's fixing all the registries, fix issues. I don't need to make a backup because you never really need to fix all close. You can do this again. You could make a restore point before you do all this in case anything happens, but nothing should happen at all because um, if you're because I've been doing this for years and I've not experienced any major issues with CCleaner or anything. So now we're gonna close it because we're done with CCleaner. Now let's see where our space is. It's still in the red. As you can see, it's still in the red. It hasn't really freed up anything yet, which is actually Maybe it's because I'm recording, potentially. Maybe because I'm recording, it's not freeing up space. Um, and also, here's a way to free up space. So, um, as I said, downloads. 
you can delete things in here that you no longer need. There's stuff you download from the internet. Now I downloaded all these ISOs that someone sent me a link to and I decided to download them all, but I already tested them in VMs. So buy, 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 and buy. Now I deleted all those because I didn't need them anymore and I can empty the recycle bin. But before I do that, I'm gonna delete some more stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna delete these Windows 10 updates because I already installed them. Um, I don't need VirtualBox because I already installed it. And some of these I'm gonna keep because I do wanna keep the installers to some of these programs or update my installers because a lot of them are old. I don't need that picture anymore. Um, I think we're good because I'm gonna update my installers with the newer installers because I'm pretty sure this is like a newer VLC, I got a newer team viewer. Because the one I have is like 12 and I don't wanna keep installing an old version of team viewer, so. And I'm pretty sure the Telegram one I have is also outdated, so I want to use this newer Telegram installer. So, got some a newer driver in here as well. So, pr pretty much I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to empty the recycle bin. And, I'm, well, I don't know why it said 4. That's weird, unless it said 8, I don't know. Okay. You can see right here. Um, we have 14 gigs free now, just because I deleted some downloads I no longer needed. So that already freed up a ton of storage. Um, I can also go in videos because, well, this is a video I'm recording now, but I already uploaded these videos and already backed them up and that's 13 gigs total. I no longer need them, so I'm just gonna delete them. It says it's too large, are you sure you wanna delete? There we go, it's deleted. I'm just gonna add this in because I did mention you can back up your files and just to show you how to do that real quickly, I'm gonna plug in a USB flash drive and let's see, let's just plug in this flash drive. All right, I plugged a flash drive in. You can go to this PC and it should show up. I don't know why it's not, it's being stubborn. Let me just, there we go. So you can pull up your flash drive and then pretty much, let's just say I wanna back up like a picture, which these are the thumbnails I made, but let's just make a new folder and call it backup. This is just to show you guys and then you can open it. And if you wanna backup stuff, you could highlight an individual file, drag it like that and it'll back it up to that location. Or if you want to select everything, saying you want to select everything in pictures or everything in documents, control, hold control, push the letter A, it selects them all, then drag them like that, and then it will back up your stuff. Just make sure you have enough storage on that location. You could make multiple folders for like documents, pictures, music, and all the stuff you want, and videos and all that. And then, yeah, so then you'll have your backup folder and then you could make other folders like pics, and saying I want to actually drag that in there then I could drag that in there and then I have the picture there so pretty much that's how you do dragging and dropping files for anyone who did not know that go back here and you could see I have like half the storage back just by deleting things I no longer needed but there are other ways to free up space as I'm saying in this video like C cleaner um, disk cleanup and I'm going to show you some other methods right now because there's actually more methods. Um, you, well, you could uninstall programs you no longer need, so any of these, but if you, if you want to uninstall those apps, you can uninstall Windows 10 apps with CCleaner. So I'm just going to move over here so I can see it better because I have a big TV screen and stuff on that side is kind of hard to see since it's on the other side of me to be in, in, be, and be in front of the mic at the same time. But I'm gonna go to tools and you can see it has uninstall. And right here, there are a ton of apps. So um, I will tell you the ones you should and shouldn't delete. I'm gonna delete 3D Builder because I don't use that. And I'm gonna delete alarms. I'm gonna keep this in case. I don't need the calculator. Um, I don't need the camera. Now this is all up to you, but the ones you need to keep is you do need to keep like the, the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store because it uses that to update the store apps or if you want to download these apps again you, and, and you have the store, you can actually re-download them on the store if you delete one that you actually turns out you want. So I'm just going to start uninstalling these apps because I really don't even need them. And I mean, I doubt they really take up all that much space, but I'm sure it takes up some. And for a device with not a lot of storage, um, it's good to just delete a bunch of stuff. Because why have all this? Oh, I want to delete one note. Because, yeah, I want to delete one note. Okay, I'm going to delete this. Um, I'm going to keep the Photos app because I do like the Photos app. I do use it. 
Um, I'm gonna keep photos. Yeah, store. I'm gonna keep the store so apps update. I don't need tips, so I'm just gonna delete that. Um, voice quarter. I'm gonna delete that as well. I'm gonna delete Xbox because I don't even have an Xbox, so I don't need that. And you can see, like, I pretty much deleted most of the apps. I just kept photos in store, pretty much. Oh, I don't need weather either, because I don't use that. Um, but by doing this, like, I know there's, like, a lot less apps on the older versions of Windows 10. The newer ones have a ton of apps, so you guys are going to have to delete a lot more apps in here. But it's good to always uninstall stuff you don't need. And any other apps in here that you installed that you're just like, I don't want anymore. Like, for example, OBS Studio does not work properly, so... Um, I'm just going to uninstall it because it just doesn't work. So, there we go. OBS Studio is gone and I'm going to unpin it because that app pretty much failed for me or that program because my encoding was messed up and it my editor didn't like it and when I was scrolling through the raw footage without it being in the editor it was looking all pixelated and messed up so that app doesn't work for me. Why do I keep saying app? It's program. And then I'm just going to run this, and it's always good to run a registry clean after uninstalling all those two here, because when you, um, when you delete programs, the registry entries will be different. I don't know why it's hanging on me right now. Um, is it still recording? Yeah, we're still recording here, like 15 minutes. Um, so it's, it's just hanging for some odd reason. Oh, there it goes. And again, we didn't really free up much. But we might have some stuff in the registry since we did uninstall things. And yes, I am right. Ooh, friendly app name. I like that. Okay, not really. Um, but it's amazing how much storage you can free. And I'm going to show you some other methods. I'm almost done here. Um, you also could, like, for example, if you do want to delete, like, files off your computer. Like, I deleted those videos. Oh, yeah, let's delete this shortcut. Um... I deleted those videos because I already have them backed up. So if you have like an external hard drive, cloud storage, or flash drive, and you back up the files there, then you could delete them off your computer, but make sure to empty the recycling bin. Or recycle bin, it's called either way. Um, now, um, you could also download this one program called Winderstat. And the thing about this program is, let's actually, let's do all drives and click OK, because why not? So, is what this program does is it tells you what files are taking up your space. So, it you run it and it tells you what the biggest files are, what the smallest files are, and it shows like a map of everything and all the file types. It's a really good program to see what's taking up your space. In, in fact, it's probably better than the built-in one in settings. Um, by the way, in the newer versions of Windows 10, there is a setting called Storage Sense, which you can enable, and it pretty much just de like deletes stuff that you um, no longer need, like temporary files automatically when it's running low on space, or like every 30 days, I think, it runs, and it deletes temporary stuff, so it's like an automated thing, but you should still be going through and doing all this stuff as well, because it's always good to do that. And it's also got a setting to delete more files in newer versions. It's definitely better and it's definitely improved. So I'm going to see what's going on with my Insider partition. You can see my user file is 77 gigs. Oh, what's taking up so much room? Of course, my user file is taking up all the room. And you can see my VMs are taking up 24 gigs of space. My downloads are taking up 17 gigs. And they're all right here. And it separates the folder and even the types of files, which this is the key over here or you could just point on one you could click it and it takes you to it so that's really cool and there's also some ISOs in there that I could delete um, but pretty much it tells you what's taking up all your space like for example what about like videos I wonder how many videos are in there um, all these are videos right there um, so you could see that so now let's get out of that and let's go to this drive. It's just the drive I'm in right now. Users, and there's my user. And there's all my stuff. It's over here. I don't know why it's like this, but let's do this. Um, there's three gigs in here. It shows how many downloads and how many VMs. So I, my VMs aren't that big. I only have like one VM. But this program pretty much shows you everything. And it's really easy good for finding out what files are big, what files are not. It's got settings. 
that you can mess around with and it, it's just a really good program so if you want to find out more on what's taking your space you can use Winterstat. Um, just Google the program if you want to install it. Um, by running disk cleanup, it, it can also clean up old Windows update files, but if you want to do that manually, you can go to your C drive, Windows, and go to um, software distribution, which is where it stores them, and then go to download. And all this is taking up storage, and it's taking up 3 gigs, so I'm just going to delete all of them because I don't need all those, and they're taking up storage and then you can empty the recycle bin. Now, if that's not working and it's saying it's in use or something, if it's saying it's in use, like when you're trying to delete these, the way to actually delete them is just open a CMD with admin and then type net stop WAUSERV and it will stop the Windows Update service because that's obviously what's using those files. It says it's not started because it isn't started, so um, we're good here because in Windows 10 the update service doesn't run constantly like it does in 7 or 8 or 8.1 It only runs when it's actually doing updates So that's convenient as it's still enabled Yet I'm able to check it and I'm able to delete all those other things so Always good to run your Windows updates. I'm getting a definition update for Windows Defender currently um so yeah, so um, it's good just to delete those old files though in the download in software distribution. Only the files in download and just clean them out like once a month or whatever and it'll free up a lot of storage for you. So um, I'm going to show you one more alternative method that you can do and you can actually compact your Windows installation. So you guys can see I already have 30 gigs free but you can run this command, which I'm going to type in the command now, and it is compact.exe, and then you're gonna do slash, I don't, know, I don't know if caps matter, but I'm not doing caps. Compact OS, always. And it's in every version of Windows 10, and pretty much what this does is it compacts your OS, and um, it makes it smaller, so that way if you have a computer with not a lot of storage left or like one of those tablets or cheap in, cheap laptops that have like 32 gig SSDs in them, this will compact your installation so that way it won't be very big. So pretty much that's the deal with that. Um, I'm going to let this compact and I'm just going to time lapse this because there's a lot of background noise right now. So I'm just going to stop this and start it. I'm gonna turn this up. I don't know why it did this. I'm guessing it's a glitch, but when I resized the window, it looks like this now. That shouldn't happen. I think it's just because I'm on an older version of Windows 10 that's just buggy. So just ignore that. It'll do, it's still gonna do its thing. All right, guys, so I am back. You guys can see it says how many files under how many directories were, com were compressed, and it says the compression ratio is 1.6 to 1, which is good. Um, it went to 31.9, it looks like, and it was at 30 point something, I think, before. So, I mean, it didn't free up too much on my system, but um, I did this on my tablet, and it freed up, like, four or five gigabytes so i guess it varies based on how old your windows installation is because this windows install is less than a week old so maybe that's why mine didn't compress as much and also because it is an older version so there's not that much to it as it feels like a beta os um i see this too compress this drive to save disk space i don't know what this does exactly i don't know if it's like this um, but if you guys are really desperate for space, you could give that a try. Um, I'm not going to do that. I think that's how you compress in, um, 7, 8, and 8.1 because I don't think this compact.exe exists. You can try it in 7, 8, 8.1, but I don't think it's going to work, but you can try it. So, 
pretty much we freed up a ton of space. Um, I showed you guys all the methods, to, you know, deleting files you don't need, running things like disk cleanup, C cleaner, compacting your OS, uninstalling programs and apps that you don't need, and yeah, pretty much that's like how you do it. And just you know, backing up stuff and deleting stuff too helps. Just make sure to empty the recycle bin, but if you run disk cleanup, it will also empty it. And then I showed you where the um, old Windows update files are, like it's cache, and you no longer need those after the updates are installed, but I would make sure you do all the Windows updates first, make sure it's fully up to date, and then you can delete stuff in there, because stuff might be in use in there if you're installing an update or if there's a pending restart. So that's why it's always good to fully update first before deleting stuff in that folder. So I'll probably have to leave like a caption there. So pretty much guys, that is how you free up storage in Windows. If you're having problems updating because of storage issues or your stuff isn't working right because of storage issues, because yes, your computer will now function if you don't have a lot of storage left. And you basically saw I freed up more than half the drive just by doing everything. I had one gig in the beginning of this video, and I have 31.5 here. It actually went down, um, unless it's, oh, it's just because it didn't refresh the page. But if I even go back into settings, and I go back to system, and I go to storage, and click on it, it went way down, as you guys just saw. It went way down like that. And this is everything, and now there's only, th there's still three gigs of apps and games, but it was at four before, I think. So I freed up space there. I deleted some videos, so I freed up space there. Um, I deleted temp files. I can always just delete more temp files as well. And you could enable storage since I just don't have that on this old version of Windows 10, which I cannot wait to get off of because I actually miss being on RS6. So it it's going to be good to have RS6 back. But then I'm installing Windows 7 for a month after after the 8th. So on the 9th, I think I'm doing that. Which I might have to wipe my drive, unfortunately. But I'm going to back up my files on the 8th. Um, and, and then on the 9th, I might have to reinstall. I'm hoping I can just dual boot. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's all I have for this video. I really hope this helps you guys. I really hope... You free up your storage and get all your updates installed because I know a couple people that said they couldn't update because of storage problems. So if you're you, if, if that's you watching this, do these steps immediately and get your system up to date. Okay, hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments below how it goes for you guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.